This is Peace Heart Whispers where you can come here to relax, meditate, and heal your energy field with healing dreamscapes and Reiki art via visualization. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, or post a comment if you feel called to.
feel that this person has a lot of inner healing power and is using this to self-heal from a karmic cycle at this time. I see a lot of beauty unfolding in this person's soul path. I feel that she has closed out the past karmic cycle and has embarked on a new path of self-discovery. Even though there is a lot going on energetically at this time and things may feel a bit chaotic, it is like a dance. All the moving components are working together in harmony to bring this inner healing and self-discovery. Letting go of the negative karmic cycle has made way for a newfound sense of freedom and feeling of awe. A magical new beginning is unfolding. Her totem spirit animal, the swan, symbolizes acceptance, which has a lot of significance in her soul path at this time. Swan teaches acceptance of who one really is and not what others say or want them to be. I feel that she is coming to this realization and is perhaps glimpsing at her own power and magnificence of this. Aside from this, her totem spirit animal is guiding her to bring balance into her life, cut out what no longer serves her, and reminds her that she has everything within to heal and be happy. The swan is also assisting with healing her third eye chakra and her awakening process, as well as helping to definitively remove the mask of illusion she has been wearing. Her totem spirit animal will also help heal her sacral chakra and her emotions, bringing back joy into her life as she remembers her true and authentic self. I see an inner transformation happening as to how she sees the world and others. This is changing in that she is perceiving this differently now, seeing them more on an energetic level as opposed to only physically or in an external 3D manner. She's noticing how this impacts her and makes her feel. I see a mirror here and a snake-like negative energy. This acted as a mirror for her, mirroring back her shadow side or negative ego. I feel that this was a karmic relationship that mirrored back shadow or negative ego aspects of herself. Karmic relationships help us to learn lessons, but in a difficult and painful way. I intuitively heard the word companion. I feel that on this new path, she will be seeking or uniting with a new companion who truly understands and appreciates her true value and worth. Also, I feel that she may have thought that the karmic person was the one, then realized that she was mistaken. The one is with her and available to her now, but she may have been confused as to who the one really was. I see her moving towards the one now. She may find that this person reminds her of her karmic in some way, accounting for the confusion, but the difference being that her true person is radiant and mirrors back who she truly is, which is love and light. I see in the number 11 that the other number one is her other half, the one. I feel that her healing crystal, the moonstone, will be very healing for her at this time, as it will support her in her newfound knowledge and wisdom. I heard the word breakthrough. This healing crystal will help her with a breakthrough moment on her path. I feel that this breakthrough will enable her to remember her true divine essence completely and she'll experience a sense of inner wholeness. It will solidify this newfound acceptance of herself by transmuting any doubts or obstacles. I heard the word confusion. This healing crystal will especially support her in times of confusion and discouragement as it will transmute this, helping her to feel strong in order to continue to move forward in self-belief and determination. I heard the word fortify. This stone will fortify her awareness and deepen her understanding of the 
truth. I also see some erratic energy that can be balanced and transmuted with the Moonstone. This could be originating from her sacral chakra. I feel that she needs gentle healing and should take time out for herself and surround herself with only good close friends or family at this time that will bring her good vibes during this time in her soul path. This is an internal alchemical process taking place within her, which cannot be seen with the naked eye, it can only be felt or experienced. Something is coming full circle as there are a lot of circles and spirals. This person is able to heal from past pain and past mistakes because she sees the light now. Some days are better than others as there are ebbs and flows and ups and downs along her path. But the divine light is a constant now. And because of this, I feel something big happening energetically. It's an otherworldly feeling. She is turning into a swan and witnessing her own inner beauty and grace. After everything, it has all happened for a reason, to get to this place of understanding. On this inner healing path, she is now turning a new leaf recognizing her own divinity and moving toward her divine path. I sense that she feels as though something is missing in her life, as though her other half is missing. However, this is all changing as I see two paths crossing and becoming one. I heard the word join. These paths or souls are indeed joining together in grace, love, and truth. I see that this connection is divine and profound and will serve as a source of immense healing and grounding for her as this soul companion embodies stability and strength. This divine companion will be her unwavering pillar of support and will stand by her through every phase of her journey. She is not alone in her journey as there is a lot of positive changes occurring in the love department as I feel that there is a good and very deep friendship between them that will give way to a profound romantic love. This is all happening simultaneously as her sacral chakra heals. This soul companion will not draw energy from her as it had felt in the past with others because they understand the importance of granting her freedom and independence. There is a harmonious balance between their unwavering presence and her personal growth. This connection feels otherworldly with an air of mystery and secrecy to it. This divine connection will also help her to cut away all energies that do not serve her. I see that she is divinely cloaked and protected during this inner healing journey. I heard the word forgiveness. She will need to forgive the past completely in order to make way for this brand new beginning of freedom and happiness. I also heard the words coming together. So the manifestation of coming together with her soul companion is also being divinely protected. I heard the word armor. She is now armored with strength and protection, but she may also have created an armor around herself due to past pain. By fully forgiving and releasing this, she will gain an incredible sense of liberation and freedom. I see something related to ancient Egypt coming through as significant for her. Perhaps a significant past life in Egypt? She may find ancient Egyptian symbolism intriguing at this time, such as the Eye of Horus or the Eye of Ra. Similarly, she is seeing the world with different eyes now as a third eye activation is taking place, enabling her to see things for what they truly are as opposed to what she would like them to be. 
This is a deep inner healing path at this time. I see a lot of mirrors and eyes, which tells me that she is not only seeing things as they truly are now, but she is learning from all of her most difficult lessons now and healing from them. She is very protected by the divine at this time as she is an ancient, powerful, wise being with ancient knowledge. I also feel that something from the ancient past needs to be let go of. I heard the word seduction, which is something I remember seeing in her previous soul path portrait. This seductive energy could be a person, something sexual, food or drink related, money or anything that tries to lure her in, seduce or tempt her into her downfall. This negative energy seems to stem back from ancient times and I feel that it needs to be released in this lifetime in order for her to come into unity and harmony with her soul companion or divine counterpart. It is also likely that they shared a past life together in ancient Egypt. As she remembers her true essence and with the help of her totem spirit animal guide and divine counterpart, she will be releasing this. Once she accepts herself fully, it will be easy for her to discern this tricky and manipulative energy and cut it out of her energy and life for good. The sea in ancient Egypt was a source of refuge for her as it was very healing and purifying to her soul. I also remember seeing this in her past soul path portrait. I heard the word healing. I feel that she is healing something that stems from ancient Egypt at this time. The ancient Egyptian mysteries serve as a healing gateway for her, for the evolution of her soul, as I feel that she carries this ancient wisdom within her soul. In her past life in Egypt, I see something related to connecting with the skies or stars above. I sense that it was something which was easy for her to do in that lifetime but is forgotten to her now and it remains a mystery. I feel that she had a direct link to the stars, star systems or galaxies in that past lifetime. I feel that she is indeed a very wise and ancient soul and that by nature she is very loving, sweet and playful. I also feel that this ancient knowledge which she carries within her soul is not understood by everyone. I see that she is or will be transmuting negative energies of jealousy and envy and that this may have stemmed from this past lifetime as well. As she forgives and severs these negative energies, they will be eclipsed out of her energy field for good. The different moon phases will be very healing for her as well. I heard the word receive. It is time for her to embrace her inner divine feminine energy, which is a receiving energy or receptacle, as opposed to an active energy or a doer energy. I feel that she is destined in this lifetime to bring the energies of the feminine and masculine within into harmony and balance. I see the cross as a good symbol for her. It's like a good luck charm or something that she holds close to her heart, which serves as protection or a talisman for her. Christ consciousness is coming through. I see a victory imminent here as though something was unfair to her, but I sense justice, victory, and divine protection on this soul path and that everything is coming full circle now.